Brian, that's me. Hey everybody, welcome back to the damn bar for another Big B Beer View. <laughs> All right, I got another one there from that uh, Lodge Pack from Line of Coogles. The last one that I'm reviewing, it may not be the last one aired if they get all mixed up in my list of, of reviews. But this one is Snowdrift Vanilla Porter. Robust porter style beer. With, uh, age on real vanilla. Yeah, not aged with, but aged on real vanilla, whatever that means. Okay. Interesting. Porter style beer. 6% ABV. Drift into winter with snow drift vanilla porter. A fuller bodied brew with hints of cocoa, coffee, and caramel. Brought out by roasted malts and aged on, aged on real vanilla. Okay. Line and Kugel's Snow Drift Vanilla Porter is smooth and creamy, making it perfect for warming up winter. Interesting. And they put that registered trademark in there as much as they could. It almost threw me off with all the damn little registered trademark circles. Holy cow. This thing is registered. Trademarked. You cannot steal this. I might even get sued for making a review of this as much as they put this on the fucking can. Holy cow, register trademarked Snowdrift Vanilla Porter. So, definitely interesting. I like the porters, and it's that porter style, you know. And it's interesting the picture that they use on this can with the... The, 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 the tropical beach is what throws me off. They didn't use snow-capped mountains and stuff like that. To me, it's like, that looks to me like a tropical beach. So, we got Snowdrift Vanilla Porter on a tropical beach. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Oh, they do have a little cottage there with uh, a white roof, so maybe that's the snow drifts. Maybe it's off of a, a, a lake of some sort. You know. Who knows? Let's crack it open. Kind of getting a chocolatey smell. And it's not it's not really aromatic out of the can so let's get it into the glass okay look at that beer i just love the way it looks when it pours i love beer yeah oh I get the jag on the edge right get in there all right i love the way that it looks when it pours down there and it's just, it's, it's amazing. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So, and that's a pretty thick foam there. Looks pretty thick and creamy. Looks like a wet head there. <laughs> that's what she said. It's pretty, uh, yeah. It's kind of spongy. Kind of spongy, but not like, like too much. And look at the color on that head, too. It's like, it's just pretty, you know, it's, it's brown, darker. It's pretty dark, but it's not super dark. I see some light coming up through there. I can almost see my fingers. But it still is pretty dark. Pretty dark. So... I can still see through it, and it is dark. I'm going to say this is about a 34. Actually, even, let's go down. I see 44 there and higher, but I'm going to say it's about 34 to 30. Yeah, let's go ahead and say good to 38 on the SRM. Chocolate. 
Mason, I'm getting like a very faint chocolate smell off it. Let's get a nip of the head if we can. Chocolate. Wow. Wow, that's like chocolate foam. I'm now I'm excited. Let's dive in. Salute. Okay, chocolate for sure. Lighter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, pretty light in the body. Almost all these Lion Kugels have been uh, fairly light. Fairly light body. This one's almost light to medium. <clears throat> kind of got like that Guinness type body. Pretty light. You would expect Guinness to be thick. You know, you'd expect Guinness to be, it's a stout, you know, but it's not. Guinness is just pretty damn watery. It's not what you expect if you want to hear a first time drinker and you try it. This one is kind of like that, but this has a wonderful flavor. Chocolatey, malty, like a roasted marshmallowiness there in there. This would be great with like barbecue, briskets and any kind of dark meats and stuff like that, or, you know, over the fire cooked, you know, even chicken and stuff would be great with this. So in the reviews, let's get the grades going. On untapped, this gets a 3.53 out of 146.4 thousand reviews. So 3.53 is right dead smack there in what I call the middle range for me because everything, if you watch my channel and you know what I say about untapped, untapped, anybody and everybody, their grandmother and their dead grandmother and their unborn baby can leave a damn review almost. So it's, it's kind of like the voting system of America. Anybody can vote. Anybody leaves to vote and that's what you get. So you got to kind of go by the majority and almost everything is in the three range. It's one through five on untapped. And almost everything comes in the three range. If it's lower than that, then you know it's either it's not that good or you gotta you gotta take uh, take what a grain of salt, like like Budweiser, Bud Light. It's just it's got that reputation and you can see it on there. It's got hundreds of thousands, almost a million reviews, and they get bad reviews for even though it's not really the worst beer in the world. But to many it is. So this one. I call fall in the three point range, so the 3.5, right there in the middle. Actually, I'm sorry, three, yeah, 3.53. So if it's ever in the four with hundreds of thousands of reviews on untapped and it's in the four range, I'll be shocked, you know? I'll be, you'll just see, I'm shocked. So on um, um, moving along, Beer Advocate is like the next level up, you know, you got. These people have to be members, blah, 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 blah. There's barely ever any reviews on beer sometimes. And this one gets a 78 out of 100 with an average of 3.43 out of 1,981 reviews. So that's actually lower than I thought, but it makes sense. It makes sense. It could, it, it, it's lacking some. It's definitely, but it's not bad. This is actually a really good beer. It's a crushable beer too, you know, you can drink these a lot. And 6%, uh, I didn't get the IBUs, so I really don't care for IBUs because they never are accurate to me. So, hmm. For me, would I buy this one again? Out of all the stouts and stuff that I like to drink, probably not. Probably not, there's nothing really that special there. I'll probably buy Guinness before I buy this. This isn't bad, but I like Guinness Sector Stout better than this. I like my Maduro from Cigar City better than this. Would I drink this one again? Yeah, I wouldn't turn it down. I wouldn't turn it down for sure. Would I recommend this one? Probably not. I'm going to give this one a C. I'm give it a flat C. I mean, it's just lacking where it needs to. It shouldn't be lacking. Hell, even the can art came into play here. No, it didn't. But it should, because come the hell on. Why do you have a, a beach and stuff and all that crap on a damn snowdrift? 
You should have mountains or something. Not bad. Hey, I hope you all enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. If you do, please hit like, subscribe, share, all that fun jazz. And um, I keep repeating myself. I got to learn this whole thing. Yeah. Anyways, if you like it, please hit like. Hit the like button. If you don't want to subscribe, don't subscribe. Or do. I would love for you to. If you like watching reviews like I do, check out my group, Beer Reviewers United, on Facebook. There's a bunch of other people out there. I mean, a lot of them making reviews. I'm sure you've seen them. And I like to support them all because it's all this is it's a fun little hobby, and why not support each other? So, and I hope to see you all here at the damn bar for the next one. Until then, salute.